Hello everyone and welcome back to All Indie. Today we are playing Dungeons and Degenerate Gamblers. Uh, and as you can see here in the top left, this is me, my health, and my Degenerate Gambler with what I'm assuming is my money. Uh, and I gotta tell you, I was scrolling through Steam, as I do, looking for demos. I read the title and I read the name of this game. And, uh, and I'm a Dungeons & Dragons fan, right? I play. I have friends that we play. So I was like, alright, Dungeons & Degenerate Gamblers. Like, is this like fantasy... Like a fantasy casino thing. Clicked on the game. I watched the... Like, the video that they have on their Steam page. Genuinely caught my attention. And then I read the description. Okay? And it reads... Battle your way through a seedy tavern filled with gambling addicted townspeople in this blackjack roguelike adventure. From aces and face cards to tarot cards, business cards, and more, create your unique deck to beat the house. I don't think I've ever played a blackjack roguelike adventure. Okay? So I was like, from there on, after I read it, after I read that description, I was like, it's a done deal. We gotta give it a shot. So. Uh, we're gonna, this is the demo. Game comes out August 8th. Link in the description below if you're, if you're interested, but I'm gonna, we're gonna try a new game. Jack's Tavern. Damage is equal to score difference. Bust equals zero. You approach the old tavern. It reeks of ale and addiction. You're going to have to master the strange version of black, blackjack they play here. Why, hello, Jack. Ooh, bartender, welcome back. How about a drink or a round of cards? Stands on 17. Okay. Uh, chips are gained by winning encounters and are spent during the events. Okay. So I got 25. Uh, advantage is gained from unique chips and is spent to play cards from hands. Okay. So this is my hand. Click to view the draw pile. Click to view the draw pile. Okay. What's So I picked clubs. Clubs are... They, they had a difficulty rating that was like spades to what a you know random and it was easy to hard easiest was i think spades i picked clubs being easy but not you know okay anyway this is what my deck currently looks like how do we play here go stands on 25 give me hit me Ooh, there we go got a six and he what wait a minute loyalty card on play instant blackjack Every 10th time this card is played, loyalty stamps are persistent between encounters. <laughs> Wait a minute, this is like one of those, uh, yeah. This is one of those, like, ticket cards? Those punch cards you get at, like, cafes and ice cream shops? I don't know about this, man. All right. Okay, I got an 8. Come on. I got a 19. I got a stand on a 19. He's gonna bust. Bam! That's what I'm talking about. You beat me. Pick a card as your reward. They're on the house. Every game of cards. <laughs> look at King Cobra here. Man, you look goofy. Okay, but he's a 10. On play, take 3 damage, then deal 2 damage for every king currently in your deck. Well, I've only got one king. Glitch card. Copy the suit value and effect of a random card on stand unlocks. Okay. Okay. Double back. Exploit has no effect. Exploit spend one advantage of an act. The effect. What? Okay. Play 21 chips to reveal this random special card. Uh. I'll I'll take a king. I'll take the king cobra. I I, 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 I don't know. Choose a unity. Oh, if you're going to meet the manager, could you please put in a good word for me? I'll give you one of these chips to help help you. Okay. Choose a unique chip to take with you. During encounters, the effect of the chosen chip is always viable, uh, available. Chip on my shoulder. On hit, if you already have a score of at least 12, gain one advantage. Can only be used once per round. Okay, hang on. So, if I have a score of 12, so if I'm sitting on a 12, I gain an advantage. Okay, what is this? Bargaining chip, interact. Lose 10 chips and gain one advantage. Uh, so this is just like a pure swap. Uh... Uh, on hit, if you already have a score of one, I, I mean, I think I'm, this one just feels like it's going to be, oh my gosh, what is happening, what is happening, oh, pick your poison, a gambler stumbles into you, 
eyes red from exhaustion. Do you have the tab? <laughs> they mumble. Eight, you reply. On which day? Oh, baby. Play blackjack against a gambler. He's got 50. Play blackjack against drunk. Sure. Hit me. I've had a few, but I'm always up for a game. Okay. Stands on 13. Doesn't know what he's doing. All right. I got a 10. I got a hit on a 10. And of course, I'm standing. Yeah. Easy. I got a hit on an ace. All right. 11. Hit. 13. Okay. And that's my advantage. Okay. Um, he's got to stand on a... He's got to stand on 16. I'm going to stand on 18 and win. I'm only going to hit him for two, though. I see. Okay. I see how this works. Six and a five. I got 13. He's got 16. So he's got to stand. But I bust out a 23. Okay. And he hits me for 16? Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. After both players have stood damage result according to the difference between the two scores. Oh, but because I bust, it's a zero. Bust equals zero. See? This is why you should read tutorials. Okay, 10. What? Sir. On play, choose to set your or your opponent's bust limit to 20 or 22 for the rest of this encounter so he just increased it but he's got to stand on a 14 okay interesting 18 he's got a 12 i'm gonna stand yeah yeah did you already lose yeah you did a one of diamonds on a winning blackjack diamonds grant you chips 13 of clubs on a winning blackjack clubs are added to damage dealt that would work with my clubs i have now here's another king though king of diamonds on a winning blackjack diamonds grant you chips and play pay 21 chips to reveal the shrine i think i'm gonna take another king let's do it why not counterfeit have a drink it's unfortunate that the town folk call these gamblers degenerates when the truth is that they are the real victims uh, I'm gonna have a drink. Why not? Beer, beer and a shot. How special? Pay 65 chips. Oh, uh, so these are the, God, what are they? These are the camps in Slay the Spire. So I can remove a card, add a loyalty card with three stamps to your deck, take eight damage, 40 chips, remove a card, loyalty card, take 10, or I can just remove a card and take five damage. I'm just gonna remove... God, I don't really want to remove anything. Uh, I'm thinking maybe something. Ugh, I don't. Choose a card to permanently remove. You know, cards are shown in order and right from left. Do I have to? Um, do I want to get rid of, like, I don't want to get rid of the ace, obviously. I feel like I don't want to get rid of my tens because I've got, since I've got the king, I've got three kings. I've got six tens here out of my deck of what 16 17 it feels best to remove like a a middle card uh or maybe a 10 maybe we get rid of a jack let's get rid of a jack yeah i don't know we're, we're just gonna do it up the bard with 21 or counterfeit Pick your poison. The tavern preys on the natural impulses of the gamblers, feeding their crippling addiction, converting it into profit. I kind of want to see what the counterfeit event is. Let's do it. Whatever. Yeah, let's do it. Want to modify a card? Uh, the shady character is offering you the service. Each increase or decrease costs you 45 chips. What am I? And choose a standard non-face card from your deck and permanently increase its value by one. Uh... Or I can decrease a value by one. Uh, I see. Okay, I'm gonna leave. Uh, stay a night. Let's let's play the bard. I'm feeling it. Toss a chip to your dealer. Oh, dungeon of degenerates. Come on, Boro. Ooh, he stands on seventeen. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna, I gotta hit on a 10. Yeah, I got a 20. And he, yeah, he's gonna bust. Okay. <laughs> ah, ah. 
Easy peasy, bard. All right, nine, 10. I think I got a hit on a nine. 12, I got a hit on a 12. Seven. Excuse me? Geralt. Geralt, excuse me. Sorry, pardon me, good sir. Geralt from Rivia on play. Choose one of your opponent's played cards and burn it. On discard, burn. What? Sir. So you're standing on a 16. This has no value? I'm confused. Hang on. No. Oh, it's got three. He stands on a 16. Do I hit on a 14? What are the chances he's going to bust? Uh, uh, I'm going to hit him a stand. Yeah, that's what I thought. What a loser. Will our hero prevail? <laughs> what is happening? What is this? Trump card. Handy. Ooh, on play. Instant blackjack. On discard. Burn. On burn. Shred this card. What? Handy. Adds to your hand to be played later. Card is removed for this encounter. Permanently removed from the deck. So if I have to use it, it'll be done. Right? On play, instant blackjack. On discard. Oh, if it gets discards, it burns. And if it burns, it shreds. Oof. Okay. <laughs> You've activated my trap card! On taking damage, deal matching quick damage. What? Damage that does not trigger on damage. Oh boy, this is going to get real, real complicated real quickly. Negative ace of diamonds. Flexible. Minus one or minus eleven. Reduces the number of diamonds. The on a winning blackjack effect of diamonds cannot be reduced below zero. So does this only affect this only affects diamond cards? What? A uh, trap card? This place is a, is host to all sorts of visitors, but it seems like there are more people entering than are actually here. Where are they all? Shop four cards. I kind of just okay. Uh, let's see. We did an event. We've played a number. Let's do the shop real quick. What is happening here? Wholesale, price co membership card. Calamari game card. What? <laughs> Point five half of space. <laughs> on play set value to zero. On stand round up. <laughs> Plus one. If this does, that could be really useful. That could just be the ooch you need. Key card on play. Choose one of your opponent's play cards to unlock if it is locked and lock if it is unlocked. Card cannot be discarded. What is happening? On play, set value to 12, then create a 12 of a random suit, then put it into your hand. Exploit minus three value. Spend one advantage to uh, enact this effect. Oh, duh, my God. Ooh, on play, take three damage. Deal three damage. Take three, deal three. And then if, if the opponent's defeated, we get 100 chips. Uh, I'm going to take the half of spades. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Stay at night. No, no, no. Let's play the squire. I can take you. I doubt it, good sir. Also, I like the music. What? Cardiovascular exercise. My man, where did you get this? On play, take two damage, gain five shield. When damage is taken, shields are damaged before health. Ugh. <sighs> I got, I got a blackjack. What are you going to do? Yeah. Uh, suck it, my guy. Hit. I got a hit on a 7. 13. He's only showing 6, so I feel like I got a hit on a 17. He's showing 16. Stands on six, stands on 17, though. I'm going to stand. I was going to say more than likely he busts. And we win. Oh, have you seen my knight? Why? Because you, cause you're, all your money's gone. Squire, get out of here. Negative nine of clubs. I, okay, I'm going to end the video here because I feel like most of my videos have been kind of long here recently. But I also, I think you get the idea. Uh, Love it. Honestly, truly. Unique. Easy. Uh, At least right now. <laughs> I, I saw that one dude increase his, you know, his bust limit to 22 or whatever. I wonder if you could go up to like 50 or 100 and then this math would go nuts but still uh it's unique 
it's cool. Uh, the music is good. I like the the D and D storytelling aspects. I also like the roguelike slay the spire kind of uh, gameplay loop. I think a lot of people would. Uh, this was awesome. I would highly, I would say, if you're looking for something other than Slay the Spire, if you're looking for like another roguelike that's sort of a card game, I think this will scratch that itch for you. I think this is like the perfect sort of substitution for you. So, this has been Dungeons in Degenerate Gamblers. Link in the description below. Check it out. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a good one. Excuse me? Geralt. Geralt, excuse me. Sorry. Pardon me, good sir.